Hello everybody, today I've come to talk to you about the simple forms of EFT. These are very handy, um, especially if you haven't got a lot of time or you're sat on a bus or a train and have got time to kill because they can be very subtle and nobody will know what you're doing. Although I am told by people who travel regularly on the underground that you see people tapping their karate chop point, which I think is hilarious. So what is your karate chop point? This is the point along the side of your hand. And in EFT, this is a very, very important point because it is your self-sabotage point. Now, even if you don't know what you want to release, or even if you don't know if you've got any self-sabotage, what this will do, this will start to work on what your subconscious wants you to work on and start to release the layers. And suddenly you will notice that you feel lighter, you feel happier, and you'll have more opportunities. And that's without even knowing what you're tapping on. So what you normally do is you can either tap flat or you can tap with your fingers like this. So obviously if you're on a train and a bus, you would do it with your hands in your lap, but this is the simple and easiest thing to do. And it's most probably one of the most effective. And as I said, can be done at any time, anywhere, and so just simply tap, do it lightly, don't do it hard, but just tap lightly and then you will feel something shift. So if you wanted to take that a stage further, what you can do is that you can start to add phrases. And this is normally when you know what you want to tap about. So for example, if you're on the way to an interview, you could tap on, please clear, all the reasons why I wouldn't get this job. Please clear all the reasons why they would choose somebody else. Please clear all my subconscious reasons that I don't want to accept this job and I might be repelling it. Please give me lots of confidence in this interview. Please let me shine in this interview and they're going to be really impressed. Please let me be so good in this interview that they're not even going to bother to interview somebody else. And you can use any phrases that comes to mind. Are you nervous? Are you fearful? Do you think you're not as good as other people there? Do you think you've blown it before you start? These are all the things that you can tap on before you go. Also, you can use it to increase your confidence, your self-esteem, your worthiness and your deserving. So if you feel that somebody's more uh, deserving of the job or worthy of the job because you've already got one, you need to clear that before you go into the interview, otherwise you will block it and it will go to somebody else. So, so far we've looked at just tapping on the karate point and not saying anything, and then tapping on the karate point with phrases. So that is the most basic one that you can get. So the second most basic one is just tapping around the facial points. So yes, you most probably wouldn't want to do this on the train or the bus, but you could do it when you go to the loo, or you could do it while you're having your sandwich at lunchtime, or while you're watching the television. You don't have to make specific time for it. It can be done any time. So the points are as follows. You tap on the inside of the eyebrow, the outside of the eyebrow, under the eyebrow, under the nose, in the cleft of the chin, and the top of the head. So those are known as the facial points. So once again, you could just tap those points and not think about anything particular and your subconscious will be clearing what it wants to clear. Sometimes you may feel that you may be drawn to a particular point for longer. That's absolutely fine. For example, this point is your fear point. So therefore you might want to tap on this to release all your um, subconscious fears about something you're going to do. So simply just tap through and remember this is automatically distressing you 
lowering your cortisol levels, which is your stress hormone, and making you feel better. Now, what you might find is that you feel hot, you feel cold, you might yawn, or you may have no reaction at all. That is perfectly normal. Different people relax, uh, re react in different ways. And if you yawn, it doesn't mean that you're bored. It means that you're actually releasing the energy and this is really, really good. You may even cry. And what I want to say to you is that if you do start to cry, please carry on until it is out of your system because it is important that we shed these tears. So what we can do now, similar to the last uh, routine we looked at, is we can actually start to add phrases now. So if you're anxious about this interview, you could say, I'm really anxious, I'm really fearful. I'm anxious, I'm anxious, I'm anxious. Oh gosh, I'm really anxious. I want to release this anxiety. I really want to release this anxiety. I want to go in there really strong. I want to be absolutely brilliant and they're blown away with me. So let's release the fear. Let's release the anxiety. Let's give me the confidence to blow them away. Give me the confidence to shine. I give myself permission to release the anxiety. I am confident in my own power and I'm in control and I'm going to blow this interviewer away and they'll want to employ me before I leave the building. So can you see how simple it is? I know I'm using phrases and you might say, oh, well, what would I say? What would I say? The basic thing is, is that you need to look inside you to find out what you need to say. You can use whatever I say, but it's also good if it's in your own words. So that's the second module, which I'd like to, to talk to you about. And I'm now going to re uh, re record the third. I'm new to this, as you can see, so I'm slipping over a few things. So I'll hope you'll excuse me. And I need to do some tapping on it to make sure that this improves. Thank you and goodbye.